You see, what will make or break this figure is only one single thing, and that is the face. There are very tight tolerances involved. Hi and welcome back to the channel. I'm Steven and today I have a figure unboxing as well as a figure review. This is my very first figure from Blue Archive. 1x7 scale Asuna Ichinose from Max Factory. Yeah, this is one of those rare figures, right, where I pre-ordered back on day one last year. When pre-orders opened, I got it from Amazon Japan. Yeah, that is where I placed my pre-order on. And since I used DHL priority, this, this is why I got it so soon, right? It was shipped out on 28th of July also, and by the 31st of July or 1st of August, it is already at my doorstep. But unfortunately, Wonder Festival coverage just had to get in the way. As you can see, the box on this is pretty huge, though I don't think the figure is that big in terms of the box size. Most likely, Amazon is <laughs> using an unnecessarily huge box because they don't have smaller box. Because when I shake the content, yeah, you can see the, you can hear the content moving around. So there is quite some space inside this box over here. But DHL priority, yeah, they handle their shipping quite nicely. So I'm not that concerned. Also, one of the advantages of DHL priority is that they handle your taxes for you. You pay your taxes up front, a tax deposit during checkout, and then yeah, they, they clear everything for you and deliver it to the doorstep. We sit for my tax clearance. Let's just dump it aside. And we shall proceed to open up this figure, unbox her, and we'll talk about the rest on the release date, pre-order, and so on after this. And that concludes the figure unboxing process. For this 1x7 scale figure of Asuna Ichinose from Max Factory, she goes for 22,500 yen before taxes or around 25k including taxes and was released on 27th July 2023 so that is very recently. As for the figure itself, this is one of those few rare occasions where I actually placed an early pre-order since day one back last year, October or November or so when pre-order opened because I expected the demand for this figure to be high. You see, uh, unlike FGO where the figures often bargain bin a few months after release, which is why I don't pre-order them, my thought on Blue Archive it was that well, this game has been around for years. It was pretty popular in some regions, especially here in Asia. In the western side of the planet, I'm not very sure. However, despite that very fact, there are barely any figures from this franchise, right? Not many genuine figures. It is a different story in the third-party resin figure market, of course. So when Max Factory announced the very first Asuna skill figure, Based on what I was looking at in the community, there was a, there was a lot of buzz, a lot of talking about this figure, and 
the rough idea I got was that this is going to be quite popular. I did not want to take any chances. I placed an early bird pre-order and now just a week or two weeks after release, you go to myfigurecollection.net and see in the comments below some of the partner shops of MFC. Yeah, they are already asking for between 30 to 40,000 yen for this figure right here. Now, of course, this is because just after release, the demand is there. It is high, but whether the value will fall after the, the demand has been met a few months down the road, I'm not very sure myself because I am not that experienced with Blue Archive figures compared to FGO figures, right? This is my very first Blue Archive scale figure and I am very pleased with this figure. But before that, let's talk a bit about the figure unboxing process where it was very straightforward. There are like only four parts in the box, the main figure itself, which is glued permanently to the seat of the bar stool. That is the bad news over here. So if you wanted to enjoy the glory of her backside of her ass, then this figure isn't for you. There is no ass to look at because the seat is glued permanently. All you need to do is to plug in this effect part on her head and also yeah, the stand for the bar stool over there, this stand over here, the rest of the bar stool, it is made of metal, fortunately, because I don't see it being durable at all if this was plastic, right? So naturally, it would be metal, and that is good news. However, if there is something I would like to point out is that I would prefer additional details on the bar stool, maybe something to put your foot on, you know? An additional part for you to place your leg on. Uh, this example over here. Yeah, that red arrow over there. Maybe because this is based on an artwork and they had to follow it 100%. So there you go. That is just a very minor complaint on my side. <laughs> it is not important at all. And then the most fragile part of this figure has to be this transparent plastic effect part over here that plugs into the back of her head. But the good news is that you don't really see that pack that goes into her head when you look at the figure from the front. It is relatively hidden unless you look at her directly from behind, of course. And the last thing is that this figure is not secured anyway into the base. It is not plugged into the base. You can display her without this giant base if the size of the base is a concern to you. However, at the same time, it also means this figure is not very secure. It is very easy to knock over the figure, see? As you can see, it is quite shaky because it is not plugged into the base. So be mindful of that when you display this figure or when you are transporting the figure, moving the figure from one place to another. Overall, very straightforward and there are no difficulties with putting this figure together. Now, speaking of the box, right? This has to be one of the nicest looking figure box in, <laughs> in my recent few purchases. Very colorful, very vibrant, and even the front to get this, uh, this hologram shiny effect on the name printed here. I like this box so much. And yeah, this box is quite a bit larger than I was expecting, mainly because of her hair and the base over there. Yeah, they needed to accommodate for that. Otherwise, yeah, this is one of my favorite boxes this year. And moving on to the actual figure itself, you see what will make or break this figure is only one single thing and that is the face. Specifically the face on this figure, right? There are very tight tolerances involved regarding the eye and also these bangs in front, this hair strand in front over here. It needs to conceal, cover the left eye ever so slightly. It should not reveal the entire eye. It should not cover the eye too much. So you'll see if the placement is ever so slightly off, then the face would look different. It would ruin the entire figure. Personally, I don't have the confidence in third-party resin figure brands to get this part done right. Like very tight tolerances, not much room for error. Fortunately for Max Factory, they got this figure right. So when I took photos of this figure from various angles, and then I compare it to the official product photos, I compare it to her actual artwork. It looks almost exactly alike and I am so happy with this figure because yeah, the face is 95, 100% done correctly by Max Factory and for the rest of the figure, in the end, this is just a Barney sort of figure. This is just a 1x7 scale Barney figure. So there really is nothing for Max Factory to mess up when it comes to both the sculpting and the paint work. 
this is a plenty simple figure because there are no fine details or tiny details which you need to place decals on or paint some very small parts. None of that on this figure. So by right, this figure will turn out just fine the way it is. No paint transfer, no scratches, no paint bleeding. None of that sort on the paint job of this figure. And the parts on this figure, the fitting is just nice as well. No overly tight or loose parts to be found on this figure. So overall, this figure is an excellent 9.5 out of 10 maybe. Yeah, that is the score I will give this figure, 9.5. Why is it not 10 out of 10? Because, well, this base over here, I can't say I like the base at all. Yeah, the base is huge because of her hair. That is completely understandable. But I'm not sure if this white color fabric material, this hairy material over here, which feels like carpet, is appropriate. At least for the color because this is the kind of outfit you see in nightclubs, in strip clubs and so on, right? And nightclubs, they don't exactly put white color carpet in their premises. The carpet is going to be dark color, maybe dark blue, dark brown, uh, even violet as well. So I think white color is not really a suitable color for the base over here. But at least if there is any consolation is that she is not permanently fixed to the base. So you can use your own custom base if you wish. Personally, I would have preferred to see a wooden base. My theory on why they are using this material for the base is that it helps to conceal the hair strands, right? If the hair strands is somehow not 100% flat on the ground, right? Like sometimes the ends of the hair strands will be just curving up, defying against gravity. Yeah, that is not very nice to look at. But when you use materials like this for the surface of the base, it kind of conceals it and it's not that obvious. Yeah, I don't think I have a problem with the material of the base over here. My problem is more to the color choice. That is just me, by the way, my personal subjective opinion. So there is really not much to find fault with, with this figure. This is an excellent figure by all means. Uh, I don't see her price dropping too soon yet. But at the same time, do not pay 30 plus or 40,000 yen for this figure. I would suggest go for maybe JP Mercari or go for Mandarake and stalk these websites regularly, you might come across a decent deal. If you can find one for the MSRP price of 25,000 yen, yeah, pick one up, you won't regret it at all. Did you buy this figure? Did you pre-order one? Maybe you're waiting for her to arrive. And if you haven't, will you pick one up? Please do let me know down in the comments below. I would love to hear your opinions on this one. If you enjoyed this video, please do give this review a thumbs up and consider subscribing to this channel for more content like this in the future. Until then, see you soon and goodbye.